Good morning. How's everyone doing today? Today I'm in much better spirits. I woke up this morning. I um wiped off just like my face with a wipe and I just oil pulled. I normally oil pull with coconut oil probably three times a week and I'm getting back into that. I haven't been doing it this new year so today was the first day so i normally oil pool friday saturdays and sundays or saturday sundays and mondays depending upon how my weekend sets up so i oil pulling for those that don't know is you take um probably less than a teaspoon of coconut oil or sunflower oil i prefer coconut oil and you swish it around in your mouth for 15 to 20 minutes 15 minutes when you're first starting out just to get used to it and then 20 minutes once you're like in the groove um my glasses are dirty i don't know if you can see like literally my dog licked my glasses <laughs> and it's like saliva um but yeah so i oil pull about three times a week for about 20 minutes um and it helps with all types of dental issues any and all dental issues it cleans your teeth cleans your teeth whitens your teeth freshens your breath removes toxins and it also helps with your because it's removing toxins and heavy metals from your body it improves your immune system it clears up your skin it freshens your breath um if you have any weird teeth you know how some people be having like dead teeth and green shit and i don't have none of that thank god um, but it clears all that right on up because coconut oil is antibacterial and antimicrobial, which is most important. So get you some, girl. Um, that's definitely something I learned from Pinterest years, years, years ago. Um, we got a new toy, y'all. Let me see if I can get the lighting together. Hold on. So yesterday, finally from Amazon, my mini stepper came. So this is the sunny this is the sunny health and fitness mini stepper with exercise bands she made in china girl so it's a mini stepper literally like cardio stepping workout and it comes with resistance bands that you can use for your upper body abs and edges it's cool so i used it yesterday for the first time when I got it and I did it for 20 minutes just to see how it felt when you first pull it out the package informs you how to um, set it up how to get things going she's a cutie she's definitely a cutie I was on Amazon and I read the I read the reviews has a little I see my step count when I was on Amazon, the reviews said that it leaves a little mark behind it. So I left the plastic under it so it doesn't mess up my carpet. Um, these resistance bands are pretty tight, I will say. So I didn't use them last night. So yeah, I unboxed my mini stepper and she steps, honey. Online on Amazon, there was a few reviews that were a little iffy as far as like pieces breaking and things like that i don't know if i put the price in there it wasn't even 40 dollars. it was like 40 dollars after tax so pretty affordable pretty reasonable on amazon and if you do the free month trial of amazon prime you get it pretty quickly shipping took a while shipping took about two weeks so keep that in mind if you're on your health and fitness journey but i'm gonna be using it for two weeks straight for 30 minutes a day just to see what my results are um i had been working out in 2020 but of course, you know, everybody kind of drops off around the holiday season. So now that the holidays are over, I'm trying to grow this booty back because 2020 took my booty. Bitch. <sighs> she a nasty bitch, honey. So I'm getting back into the swing of things, getting back into a routine, getting back on my health and fitness. Don't look at the Christmas tree in the corner. Oh, here goes my child. But you know. Too much noise. Come on. Oh, you by yourself in there? Where's your grandma? 
No wonder he's crybaby. Crybaby Walker. So, yeah. You following me? Of course you are. Good boy. Sneeze. Sneeze. <laughs> so, we're getting back into our routine. We're getting back into our health and fitness. Just back into a groove because I've just been working so much that I haven't really spent time personally on me and my self-care. So, girl, last night I yoni steamed again. I used to yoni steam every Friday. And girl, it felt so nice last night. I was just like, yes, I got to get back into my groove. Keep this up. I'm double do-ragged up because I put coconut oil on my hair last night. So she's a little oily. But she ain't dry though. That part. She's moisturized. She's popping. Um, probably gonna film today. Um, my grandma's about to head out, just helping her get ready for work and everything. She's gonna run some errands, so That'll allow me some time to film. I don't know if I ever told y'all, but like my grandma's going through chemotherapy right now. And um, I'm helping her out just around the house and with little stuff. And so she is a very independent woman. So I'm not helping her, but I'm helping her. So it's it's been a nice little ride. Um, and just nice spending time with her and hanging out. So... Here we are, I'm about to have me some tea. I made some lemon and ginger tea and then I squeezed a half of lemon's worth of juice into the tea. So I don't put honey and stuff like that in my tea anymore. I just put the tea itself and today I did half of a, half of a, the juice of half of a lemon. <laughs> Today's Saturday, on Monday I'm gonna go, it's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, actually, his birthday was yesterday, the 15th, so it's, like, weird that we celebrate it. I, like, I don't get it. I don't get it. But anyways, I'm going to go bake cupcakes with my little cousin slash niece. You know, if you're from the South or you're in a black family, you know, the younger the cousin or the bigger the age difference, it goes from cousin to auntie. So, like, my cousin Tammy is actually my aunt Tammy, and I've always called her aunt Tammy, so... I'm going to go bake with my niece. <laughs> she wants to bake rainbow cupcakes. And so, honey, we getting the cupcakes and they're going to be rainbow. So, I'm going to vlog that. And then next weekend, I'm hanging out with my friends from college. We're going to do, like, an overnight stay in the city and just, like, catch up and drink and have fun. And so, I'm excited. Things are looking up. Things are picking up. I'm decompressing, you know, running a business doing my podcast, doing YouTube. I have a lot on my plate as well as taking care of my family and just catching up on a lot of things around here um, at my grandma's house. And it's just been a lot and I've just been tired and, you know, kind of overwhelmed a little bit. But now I can pace myself. I can breathe. I'm exercising again, getting my sweat. Sweat really helps me. I don't know about you, but like sweat really keeps me grounded as far as the things that I need to do and releasing the things that I cannot do and kind of staying focused on things. So last night, just getting sweaty and working out, it just felt so good listening to music. Music is my happy place. If I'm not listening to music, I'm probably a little uncomfortable, no matter where I am in the world. If my shoes are on and there's no music playing, I'm not comfortable, period. We could literally be sitting with Maya Angelou and Michael Jackson, two of my favorite people, and I'd be like, I need to take my shoes off. I need to wiggle my toes and I need to have some music playing in the background. But I think that's all for right now. I got my mini stepper doing that. We're about to have some tea help with this throat chakra. It's been a little <clears throat> lately just because I'm getting used to the weather. I haven't had a winter, a winter in over six years. I'm California girl. <laughs> honey and i've not had a winter so this east coast winter is really getting to me my energy levels have been like low seasonal depression is rampant in this in this town and in this area and i get that it was raining so it's been gloomy the sun comes out and then it goes away it's like a lot so i don't know how people live on the east coast girl i've been spoiled on the west coast and i'm i ain't complaining i ain't complaining 
but I'm just getting used to winter. You know what I'm saying? So even wearing coats is weird for me. Like the other day, my grandma was like, you know, let's go get, let's go shopping. And so I bought a coat and I was like, damn, like I don't even, I have two coats and they're mostly just to let you know for fashion purposes. They're not really practical for cold weather. So I wanted to buy my coat for here, from here word to cousin cat williams <laughs> so i was like okay let me get a coat and I put it on i was like damn like it's just crazy to have this layer on me like i'm just so not used to even wearing a coat you know so but it's all good i'm happy my family's happy we healthy it's 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 a great year 2021 is a great year sorry if you heard that banging that's really like the shades on our carport banging against the metal whatever but all right y'all i'm gonna come back to y'all um probably when i cook breakfast look who's here say good morning she's ready for me to feed her so she is irritated it's like can you come feed me please it's not time yet big dog hey y'all good morning so today i'm just up um today's my third friday saturday so it's my fourth day doing my two week booty revamp whatever <laughs> so i'm up it's about 10 a.m and i just oil pulled my teeth in my mouth and i just made some coffee and i'm like mm. editing a video and some photos right now for Instagram today. Um, my YouTube video is uploading right now and my picture is gonna upload a little later. Today is Monday and I'm going with my grandma to her um, doctor's appointment. She is currently going through chemotherapy right now. So I have been helping her out and just, you know, being here for her being a support system she doesn't she's not married so it's you know a lot on her as one woman and she's older and it's just you know a lot of confusing things that the doctors say and that are going on in the world so it's just nice to have someone there to help her and i can honestly say that i feel really good just being here like i feel blessed to just be here for her and with her you know so we have a doctor's appointment a little later today it's just been really nice helping heal my grandma and so you know words are very powerful and i'm a very strong manifester i'm very powerful without even trying and everything that i say comes to fruition i don't even you know, when I was younger, I didn't realize it. I didn't know it. I didn't really see my greatness. But honey, when I say it, it happens. So I'm teaching and showing those around me how to do the same. You know, being more cautious and, and just aware with their words and more um, potent with the words that they are choosing. So helping heal my grandma, helping my grandma heal and just being here, having fun with her, hanging out with her, cooking with her. We've just been having fun and it's just so nice. It's just really nice. So um, I'm just sipping my coffee right now, editing like I said. I have this little, my grandma works, is she volunteers with my cousin's grandma who is another grandma of mine but they volunteer at a soup kitchen slash thrift store slash food bank it's a food bank but they volunteer there and by volunteer i mean they run it so um there's a school collection thing where company or or group that gets together and they go to all of these schools each day throughout the week and they collect all of the 
excess school lunches. You don't realize there are some real issues with the public school system. We already knew that. Like, I'm a product of the public school system, and I have never been a fan. I mean, I hated school. I didn't like the way it was set up. I didn't like the learning style. I didn't learn very well. I learned most of the things that I know outside of school. So, I understand. But one of the biggest things about this country that I cannot stand is the way we waste food. We buy food in excess, and then we don't eat it because it spoils before we can even use it and then there's so many people that don't have food because people buy food in excess and because they buy it in excess they jack the prices up and the people that grow food actual farmers and planters they're not even getting paid a fair wage a, a, a basic living wage like they're struggling it's a whole lot you know and i watched the show um queen sugar um by ava duvernay and girl that my nose is running that show taught me so much is just about the inequality of farmers especially in the south especially black farmers and i started doing all types of research girl and it is just it's horrible there's a lot of great documentaries on um netflix and you know youtube if you have a YouTube TV, probably better. So you don't have any commercials. But YouTube, so, you know, their information is there. But that buying excess food, we were saving for a rainy day. Like, the food going to expire. Now, if you have a pantry full of food, I understand that. You know, like flour and oatmeal and cereal. Things like that. Dry goods that'll actually last or canned goods. I get that. But if you just got basic shits in around your house in buku you're doing too much like kids don't even eat that like kids eat a lot of food if you present them with the correct foods that's what they'll eat you get what i'm saying like i ain't i don't want to get into it but do your research and it's a lot of food waste but anyways the company that collects all of the school lunches that are not eaten and you also have to remember we're in a panoramic right now so kids aren't even in school like school is half day they're having half days and all types of things like that so a lot of times the actual aspect of school is not even really that they're just going to like a few classes and then they get sent home you get what i'm saying so the schools have been having an excess of school lunches that they have just to throw away like they there's no one here to eat it so we throw it away but they're still getting these large shipments from the companies that provide school lunches you know so this particular company goes to where my grandma's volunteer and they drive around to different food banks and they drop off these school lunches now because they have so many they give each person like i'm not even kidding you like seven so my grandma just comes home with like all of these school lunches and i'm like what are we supposed to do with this like She's like, well, if we don't want it, we could just throw it away. And I was like, that hurts me to literally just waste shit, you know? So um, the whole point of me saying that was it's a really cool idea. I think it's just executed poorly. So that's something that I'm looking into, like starting a actual delivery service for food bank. I was talking with my grandmother about that, a local community type of thing. There are so many older people in this community that, don't drive they can't get around and they don't have anyone to bring them food so you have to think yes there's a food bank in town yes there's a company that delivers excess school lunches to this com to this food bank however if i am 70 whatever years old or if i'm just a person that's not mobile and i can't get to the food bank i don't have access to food so it's kind of missing the next step, which is that of delivery. You get what I'm saying? And it, it it's missing the step of those that are not able, someone being able and helping them. So I'm looking into what, what that looks like. There's some people walking, <laughs> people walking by my house. I was like, what the fuck? But yeah. Just these random thoughts in my head. So yeah, I mean, that's something to look into in your community, especially now in the panoramic. There's so many people that are, they can't, they just don't have the access to leave their house or their neighborhood or their community. And so 
they're going without a lot of things, basic things, because they don't have a person to just drop it off to them. Where my grandma lives, Walmart doesn't even deliver. So you have to think, if you don't have a car, it's too far to walk. There's no sidewalks in my entire town. Just to let you know, there's no sidewalks in my entire city. So if you have to walk anywhere, it's uncomfortable because you're walking literally in the street. And it's just so many basic things that you don't think about if you don't live in those places. But if you do have access to helping others and being a resource to someone else, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Not only will it increase your personal karma, it'll also help your community. It'll build up your community. I don't understand what's the point of having a car if you're not, I don't know, like use your shit wisely like it's like life is so short like we're living in such hard times not that in particular this is such a big issue for some people because i know some people are gonna be like where i live that's not an issue i get that but for some people for a lot of people it is and i just i'm just encouraging you to get out this week or this month or this year at some point and do something for others, complete strangers, people you don't know, or people you do know, and just be the change you wish to see in this world. So, yeah. So this week, you know, while my grandma goes to work, I do collect a few of the lunches that she brings home and um, take them to, like, people that she knows that for sure cannot get around and people that would love to come get their food they're just not able to so do a good deed is what the fuck i'm saying do some good deeds in your life you know i'm saying like do something other than things for yourself do something for other people go volunteer we have the community center in my grandma's area it's been closed since the panoramic so there's children there's older people there's people my age in their 20s and 30s that don't have anything to do you have to think about the gyms being closed that also went for public facilities so any social things that people normally would engage in have been canceled since 2020 it is now 2021 people are hurting help heal the healer heals herself heal your community do something i saw this really cool guy on youtube last night and i started following him i subscribed to his channel and i follow him on instagram um his name is ryan but he does this thing called freaky fridays where he does something that makes him uncomfortable every week and i was like damn i love that idea now i'm trying to like integrate it into my life currently so i don't have any thoughts about it i don't have any actions behind it other than thoughts right now but thoughts are very powerful and that's something it just warmed my heart just to see him pushing himself out of his comfort zone and doing different things that would normally scare him or that he wouldn't normally do and so I thought that was really cool so for me I'm trying to or I am adapting that to my life and what that will look like for me so yeah girl and today i was like i was making my coffee and i was like i took the you know that first sip of coffee don't come for me for this plastic straw my grandma doesn't have any uh, metal straws and i didn't order any off of amazon yet so i've just been reusing this one so that i don't have multiple um and i only use it for my coffee so whatever um what was I saying? Oh, so I took that first sip of coffee this morning and I was like, ooh, I just love being warm. I love warm things. And there's so many winter activities. Like, I love... People are like, oh, let's go ice skating. And I'm like, eh, ice skating. People are like, let's go snowboarding. I'm like, eh, snowboarding. But here's the thing. I love being active. I love any active act any activity. So I'm like, I would love to do those things, you know? Like, that's something that would push me out of my comfort zone is winter activity. So the 
access to it, I have the know-how and the skill to do and ability I have. So that's something that I'm looking into. I have always wanted to go skiing, not necessarily snowboarding. So I have to find a maybe an indoor place because it, it snows here, but not very often. Not often enough that we have a prominent snowboarding slash skiing slash ice skating community. So I want to look into that. I'm looking into that. And I'm doing so many things to push myself out of my comfort zone. And I'm just proud of myself for that. So these are just the thoughts that I'm having this morning. When I'm in the morning, my mornings, I love a slow, quiet morning. I don't really like speaking. I like to just do something kind of task oriented, if you will. And then kind of just spend time with self and with God and in reflection. So I journal a lot in the mornings. Um, I watch uh, a lot of inspirational, motivational, or spiritual videos. I read, I just sit quietly, drink my coffee. I edit, you know, uh, a lot of things in the morning. So it's kind of like my time. I like to sit by myself and just do me. You know, I slept on my right side last night and like passed out and I ended up sleeping on my right side the entire night. I didn't roll over until this like 30 minutes before I was supposed to wake up. So my right shoulder is tight. After I finish my coffee, I'm going to work out. I have two bananas that I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat my bananas and then work out, hop in the shower and kind of get ready for the day. And then by that time, it'll be time to head to my grandma's appointment. I'm uploading a video right now, like I said, and I'm also going to upload a picture to uh instagram so follow me on instagram at xo thank you parcia it's literally my same as my youtube name i'm getting more social and physically sociability is kind of hard right now i don't know if you've noticed but a social media social i can do so i'm taking a another little page from ryan's book and i'm just reaching out to people and staying in communication with people through social media and through my new phone i got a i think i told y'all i have an iphone now so facetiming people and just like talking more and being in communication more with people because i haven't been able to physically see or enjoy people this year or last year and it was it's funny because when people asked you know at the end of last year or the end of every year we always like reflect on our year and what are we going to do in the new year and all those things and so when I got to the end of 2020 I realized that I hadn't gotten my nails done for the entire year of 2020 and I used to get my nails done every two weeks I think I spoke about this before but I realized also that in 2020 I didn't I only hung out with I think four or five friends like the whole year I only hung out with like my friends that were not related to me through family like personal friends I didn't I only hung out with about five people the entire year and I'm such a friend oriented person I love my friends I treat my friends like family my friends are my family so it was like really hard for me to really wrap my mind around that and I think that's why when I was first asked the question or when I was first reflecting, I was like, oh, I didn't get my nails done. And I'm like, bitch, that's so small compared to the fact that you didn't hang out with your friends for an entire year, you know? So this year I'm learning different ways and new ways of hanging out with people and communicating with people. And don't get me wrong, I'm still hella selective on who my friends are and and the type of energy that I'm around, that is, that's not going to change. But I'm just more aware of the fact that that's something that really inspires me. It holds me up. It keeps me going. And it keeps me grounded in a sense. Because my little air sign self would be anywhere and everywhere in the world in my head. And so my friends and just being present it keeps me going, you know, 
So that's something that I'm more conscious and aware of, especially spending time with my grandma. And that's just like hanging out. And it's like, we're, we're basically re getting to know each other because we missed the entire year of 2020 together, you know? So a lot has changed. A lot has happened, especially in my life. So I know for sure in her life, you know, so we're, we're here and it's not just going through the motions, it's being present, it's being conscious of the things that I'm seeing and I'm experiencing and that I'm saying and how I'm applying new things to my life and how I'm pushing myself. Am I still pushing myself? I used to go so freaking hard and now my my version of going hard, I'm going hard in different ways. And I didn't realize that I didn't really tap into my growth and my new abilities and my new strengths and and the weaknesses that I've strengthened even, you know? So, girl, we popping. We're popping. I'm going into the attic today. And if you've never been to my grandma's house, the attic is it's, it's a new frontier, honey. It's the wild, wild west up there. It's all types of things in the attic. It's so many memories, so much stuff and so i'm putting all the christmas stuff in the attic and at the same time i'm going to bring down some of my older things just to see what i have up there and to kind of organize some things better for myself so i'm excited because i know i have some books up there that i really want to reread i have some clothes that i want and some just personal things that I haven't seen for years over I haven't seen for over five years in that attic and I'm just excited to go up there I'm just also nervous <laughs> because winter time means shit's been living up there since the end of summer and people defend their homes <laughs> creatures defend their homes I'm like I don't know what's up there. I'm not afraid of spiders. It's just the bigger things that I'm not afraid of any bug except for cockroaches. Cockroaches and centipedes, slugs and snails, they're just not my thing. Um, I'm not afraid of a slug or a snail, but if it crosses my path, I will either step over it or I'm gonna kill it. And I don't like killing animals. I really don't. But you can't live in my house. You can live anywhere else, but you cannot live inside of my house. So if you're in here, I'm going to have to murder you. So if I can't easily catch you and put you back outside, you have to die. You have to die. So I'm going to, you know, be prepared for that, mentally preparing for that, and get myself in in spirits but i'll probably be back with y'all when i'm getting ready for the day i wanted to film a video today but i'll probably do it tomorrow um i get ready with me kind of like morning routine and my night routine for skincare because i'm finally ready to make my urban skin rx video and i'm also showcasing like i said some new products i think i said this before i'm showcasing some my shoulder is just like y'all it's just like help me like the fly i'm showcasing some new skincare products that i've been using for two months now i try to give everything a fair chance but that urban skin rx it took a month before i really started seeing some results and and my skin had to go through an entire ugly phase before it got to the cuteness because girl and right now i only have this one little blemish i don't even know where it is yeah it's on this cheek I have one little blemish from the cystic acne that i had before i started using urban skin rx and when i finally got it to come to head it popped itself and it left a little mark so that's what we're clearing up right now other than that you know we're doing pretty good I just have some under the skin bumps along my chin area and i think that's from the foods that i've been eating I don't care what type of person you are. Your grandma is going to feed you, honey. 
So I was I'm, I I was eating things that I don't normally eat, and I've been eating a lot more meat. Not a lot more meat. Well, yeah, a lot more meat because I hadn't I didn't eat meat period before. So um, I've been eating a little bit of chicken and a little bit of fish since I've been here. And so my skin is just like, I have some under the skin bumps that are just kind of getting themselves together. Other than that, I've been enjoying my skincare routine. So, all right, I'm going to finish editing and I'm going to holler at y'all later. Oh, <laughs>